brothers and sisters, my elders, we are right in front of the door of no return. Though that is not the original door, but that was the original exit. And through this door, our ancestors were taken to the Caribbean, the West Indies, North America, South America, the Caribbean, where they built continent over there, where they changed the economies there, where they invented things there. They were under a lot of oppression, but still our ancestors prevailed. Today we are here, we represent them. And in honor, we're gonna go through the door of no return, but surely we shall all return. Come up, son, so we can get the door. That picture. Come up, so we can get the door. Yes. 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 So afterwards, I'm going to be leading through the door of no return. <coughs> Please stand. Please stand. Please stand. Please stand. So you're going to come away. Yes, family. This is one way, door of no return, and then door of return because we have returned strong. And this is uh, Africa for Africans reconnection. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to be strong, man. I'm trying to be strong. I take one of this for me. My, 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 my second time, man. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. My dad, man. Don't be clapping. I go. Yeah. I go. So my elders, brothers, and sisters, we are out and are through the door of no return. Our ancestors were taken downstairs to the shore. See, now this area looks like a harbor or a port. These walls the sea walls you see here was constructed just about three years ago you know we had issue with global warming the water was coming closer to us so they constructed those walls to check that so immediately they constructed the walls it drew the water back but before that the water used to come all the way down there but it was very shallow the ships had to dock some distance away so at the shore, they placed them on boat. Gradually, they joined the bigger ships. So that's how come we are saying that when you go through that door, you will not return. But look up again. You'll find another inscription. It says, Door of Return. Brothers and sisters, it is very symbolic. We had it there in 98. For the first time in September 1998, Ghana celebrated the Emancipation Day celebration. And I know Emancipation Day is nothing new in the Caribbean and the West Indies. It is celebrated every 1st of August. Because 1st of August 1834, the British territories within the Caribbean and the West Indies were emancipated from slavery. And this is the genesis of Ghana celebrating Emancipation Day. One of our presidents, um, he's no more God rest his soul, um, President George and Rollins was invited to Trinidad and Tobago when they had their emancipation celebration. So he came home and suggested that Ghana should also celebrate Emancipation Day because we are one people with one history. So we had a celebration in September 98. And for the first time, brothers and sisters from the Caribbean, the West Indies, North America, Europe, many returned. And for the first time again, they returned two human remains or two human skeletons of former enslaved Africans who died in Jamaica and America. 98, their remains or bones was exhumed from where they were buried. One was taken from New York by name Samuel Carson, and the other was taken from Kingston, Jamaica by name Madame Crystal. So the remains were shipped back to Cape Coast Castle. Through this door, we received them, had the ceremony for them at the castle, and afterwards, the two remains was buried 60 kilometers from here at a town we call Asen Manso. 
So since then, you know, let me tell you something brief about Asan Manso. Asan Manso is 60 kilometers from here. Um, one of the things we should also understand is Ghana was the major transit point during the slave trade. So a lot of the Africans went through Ghana without necessarily being Ghanaians. So they brought people from the northern part of West Africa, from Niger, Mali, Burkina Faso, through Asan Manso. So Asan Manso was where they took their last bath before they were brought down to the coast. So we buried them at Asan Manso for that reason. There's that connection. So every year, every August, we celebrate emancipation day. That is the reason behind door of return. Any questions or comments? Okay, so you can do your pictures. Thank you.